Hey guys, welcome back to Bronze's Math Club. Today's topic is dividing decimals by thousand or larger numbers. Now, in our previous two topics, we talked about dividing decimals by tens and hundreds. Well, this is pretty much the same thing, except we're using larger numbers like thousand, ten thousand, one hundred thousand, or even up to a million. But it's really easy as long as you use the um, what I call the quick method because it's like a shortcut to finding your quotient in a faster way. So let's say we have a problem such as 6.9 divided by 1,000. Now we could just take this, write it down like that, and divide. But don't you think that would take way longer? How about we just <coughs> look at the decimal number, which is 6.9, write it here. Now, count how many zeros are in 1,000. That is 1, 2, 3. Three. What we're going to do is we're going to move this decimal point over here three places from right to left. Why right to left? Remember this rule. Left to right always increases the value and that's only used in multiplication. In division, we use the opposite method which is right to left. Right to left decreases. So if we take this decimal point and move this right to left three spaces, one, two, three, that will decrease the value. Now, as you can see, we have two gaps here. What do we do with the two gaps? Well, it's really easy. All we have to do is add zeros in the gaps. That means the decimal point is going to be over here. So the quotient of 6.9 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.0069. Now, here it's your option, like if you want to put a zero before the decimal point, but it's not really necessary because the zero holds no value. So you could just write it like this or you could write it like 0 0.0069. It doesn't make a difference. So that's it for dividing 6.9 by 1,000. How about if we had a larger number? Like maybe the decimal could be maybe 7.4. And this time, rather than dividing it by 1,000, maybe you could try by 100,000. Now, as you can see, as I'm going, the numbers on like the tens, hundred thousands, they're getting larger. And that's where, um, that's the reason of using that method. Now, if that was just 7.4 divided by 10, you could just, it wouldn't really take much just to write down and divide. But as the numbers get larger, like it takes a long time. So that's like the main reason of using that method. So what you're going to do is count the number of zeros. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five zeros. So you're going to rewrite this decimal number, 7.4, and you're going to move the decimal point from right to left because right to left decreases. So five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. So in the gaps, we're going to fill in zeros, and the decimal point is going to be over here. So that means the quotient of 7.4 divided by 100,000 equals. 0.000074. Now that is one big quotient, right? Now, how about we try a decimal number like maybe 23.4 divided by 10,000. Now, don't get yourself confused with the decimal number. You're like, okay, there's a difference between 7.4 and 23.4, right? 7.4 is obviously smaller. It holds less value. 23.4 is a bigger number, but that does not change the method that you're going to use. You're going to, once again, write the decimal number over here, 23.4, and count the number of zeros in 10,000. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. And you're going to move from right to left. So you're going to take this decimal point, and you're going to move four spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can see, if, if it was only 3.4, then we would have to replace the 2 with a 0. But we already have 2 in there, so we don't have to really replace that with a 0. All we do is just fill in the gaps with zeros. So it was pretty much the same thing, right? So that means the quotient of 23.4 divided by 10,000 equals 0 0.00234. Now, that's just... Um, it for dividing decimals by thousands or larger numbers. If you want to find more practice problems to do on this topic, then you can visit our website. And we'll see you guys next time.